RBS Business Research Academy welcomes you in the lecture number 39. In this lecture number 39, uh, we are going to understand the visa, what are the typical issues which can be in your data before analyzing. So in this video, uh, I will analyze this data which I have received from my client. Uh, that I will uh, apply some of the techniques like the frequency and like the correlation and then we uh, i will also apply the uh, like a regression linear uh, multiple regression factor analysis and then i will also apply the uh, smart peers uh, algorithm on this in order to find out the different issues are in the data before properly analyzing my data so uh, let's start this interesting and wonderful video uh, but before this one my name is dr rahim baksumaro and i'm working as a professor uh, at the Shah of the University, Pakistan. So, first of all, we are going to apply uh, descriptive statistic, okay, and then go into the frequencies. So, now in the frequencies, these are our from this one uh, to this. These are our uh, descriptive or demographic information. So, we are not interested so far in this one. We are interested in our uh, other scale variable. So, in this data, you are looking some variable are on the scale. Uh, data and others are the nominal data. So now we're selecting all these one. Uh, okay, except uh, up to here. So because these are our averages are there. So this data uh, we will uh, apply. Uh, we will use this data uh, in com in applying the multiple regression. But before this, so item wise, we want to uh, check their frequencies. Okay. Now uh, from here we want to compute mean, mode, median skewness, kurtosis, standard deviation, and variance. So these are very important to find out the behavior of our data. And in the chart, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, now, okay, 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 no, no chart. But just uh, place the, uh, put this check in the display frequency table. If you will uncheck it, the frequency table will not appear. So we need frequency table data. Uh, keep the check in this one, okay? And now our data is before our uh, descriptive. So first of all, we have to go through in this data. We're looking at uh, here, uh, standard deviation. Okay, so standard deviation of private decision one. That's good, good, good. So all standard deviations are good. At least some variance, uh, some change is in our data. But here looking five, so zero. Standard deviation and the variance both are zero. It means that the and there is no any uh, like the change in the answer. So all the answers are either uh, all are agree or all are disagree or all are yes or no. Eight, that means that out of the several answer, only one answer is there. So that's why you're looking, there's no any uh, change or variance in the data because their variance and the instant deviation is zero. So now first issue has been identified in our data. And then you're looking here that uh, okay so these other zeros are there you looking so again so here the variance and the standard deviation are again zero so now these are some issues are there so again uh, in this data again these are our issues so several issues of the uh, are available in this data regarding the variance and the standard deviation so next so our first item is privatization one where you're looking at the slightly this agree to the strongly agree actually there are the six options are there let me say it is a six point liquor scale but here uh data is available for only uh like the four liquor scale like the slightly agree to strongly agree but if you look here there is a majority of the vast majority of the uh, sample size there is total sample size the 255 you're looking here so out of the uh, 255 you're looking here th this one so the uh in the vast majority of this one except the six other are strongly agree are agree. that means normally there are two types of behaviors are there whenever we are seeing five point liquor scale or six when so normally we ask either they are agree or they is negative or positive but here looking is there's made only the uh, positive behavior so now this like the one extreme then again here completely you're looking there is all are extremes that means that so now there is no any negative attitude uh, uh in the data then again, you're looking here, privatization five. You, if you remember, there was an issue in the privatization because uh, the variance and strength deviation of this one was zero. So you're looking the same issue is here. Now this is the issue because 
only uh, although there are the six point Likert scale six uh, options were given to that but all the people have selected only one agree how is possible so now uh means uh, uh, logically it's not possible that all the people become agree uh, with your data okay and then this is the mlq so now here somewhat again there are the six point Likert scale but you're looking two only means the response has been given only against the two uh, points so now fairly often 224 out of the 255 so again this uh, the same with the uh, mlq3 so all you looking the same issue with all these one so now this data shows that the, the, there is a problem in the data again lcs08255 and all are yes so here in this one our liquid scale uh, there's a yes or no so now all are yes and in this one liability all are yes all are yes it means everywhere you are getting the same answer so now it is a problem with our data so now that problem we have to solve uh another problem is we are going to enter into the correlation by correlation and then what so we have to select our option from privatization to uh okay security so again so whatever the problem which we identified in the uh, frequency the same problem we still we identified here so now you're looking that the almost there is a all other options uh, uh, somewhat there is a, a correlation among the uh, privatization uh, of the privatization uh, between the privatization one and two privatization three and one privatization one and four but you're looking here that the correlation between the privatization five and one is zero nothing is there so now b is looking now b it means data cannot be computed because it is one of the variable is constant actually this is not a very it's a constant because all the uh, all the people they have given only one option so now there is no a variance because it's, it's the, the the value of the variance and the value of the standard deviation was zero so that's why looking here that there that there is no any uh like the value of the correlation between the prioritization one and the prioritization five so again you're looking here prioritization five with the all other value there is no any uh, response with this one so then uh we are going ahead so here you're looking this another one uh like the now see the lc and liability from the one to response all are our uh, one option one option is there so that's why again there is no any value of the correlation between the rest of the variable with the reliability one two three four five and responsive one so that and then again if you go ahead you're looking here that a responsive five competency one to five again they have no any response there is no any uh, correlation with the rest of the variable so now that's another issue so now, uh, now definitely, if you carry out this data to, to apply any of the data, uh, any technique, statistical technique, either in the spaces or in smart or any other software, you will face this type of problem that you will be unable to run the uh, your technique or apply the technique on this type of the data. So now, uh, another thing we are going to apply multiple regulation. Oh, before uh, uh, factor analysis. So now factor analysis, uh, privatization one, and then come uh, up to the security five okay so now descriptive static we have to determine and cam m o and extraction we need script plot just to uh, and then rotation we want very max and option we want sort by size and a suppress less than 0.3 okay and then you're looking here uh, another message is there uh, it means that the, there are the very few uh, uh, like the uh, there are the few then two cases at least one of the variables have has the zero variance so now at least that means that there means that there is a uh, zero variance between the two variables are more than two variables so that's why uh, there is one issue a serious issue with your data there is only one variable in the analysis our correlation coefficient could not be computed so now the correlation co correlation of the coefficient was not completed in the last if you uh, uh, at least if you saw the said during that when i applied correlation on my data so the uh, most of the uh, 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 variable they were not correlated with each other because there was only that there was no correlation between uh, the two variables most of two variables were there and then no further statistics computed so now if this is a situation then 
you cannot apply any type of the statistical technique on this data so now this was another problem where even we were be uh, we were unable to apply the factor analysis then we are going to uh, linear regression so in the linear regression uh, here for example our dv is a privatization and then our for them these are aesthetic institutes these are our independent variable statistic we need a uh, durban watson with call linearity okay the, and uh, then confident work okay and in the plot we need dependent variable here as a residual here histogram probability all these we need and then just okay so when we enter uh, okay so here our dependent variable uh, is privatization and then r is there is a correlation uh, 0.68 that's a wonderful correlation r square is a 46 percent again that's a good thing i hope uh at double watson is also a good one because it is uh it's uh, the range of the word double watson is a uh, from one to two it's less than the one so devon watson test basically test the auto correlation in your data so now i hope i assume that means that all these are uh, these different terms uh, concept they are clear in your mind and then uh, next one is the uh, coefficients are there so coefficient most of coefficients are uh, insignificant except the responsiveness okay and then if you come down uh, here in the graph basically qq plot so here qq plot takes the normality of our dependent variable our dependent variable is privatization so you're looking here in this one so our line this is our regression line in most of our uh, data points these circles these are away from our uh, our regression line like these are, are they are very near to the regression that's okay but this is not okay because they are much away from the regression line in this way we can conclude our data is non normal distributed data okay and then if you change uh, dependent variable uh, okay uh, linear regression and then we are getting sending back and then aesthetic we are bringing here is a dependent variable then okay so here you look that means that our r square is a 22 uh, 22 percent okay and uh, then our uh this r uh, coefficient of correlation this is r square r square is just five percent okay this there's a very minimum and then if you come down again here so the same uh, you're looking the qq plot again the data it shows that our data is non-normal why non-normal is there because of the some serious issues are in our data okay and then uh, we are going to apply another last tool that's about the uh, liability analysis because it's a very important tool through which we can check the liability of our data data is already now normal we want to check the uh, uh, reliability of either the uh, data reliability of the this data is okay or not so here is statistic always select this item scale if item deleted always check it okay and then okay so you're looking here our total our liability is of 12 percent so minimum value of the liability is a 0.7 is it's, less, it's much less than 0.7 so now it, this means that this our constant is not a reliable constant so for example if you see that we say the well, uh, 0.129 so now if you think preparation 5 if we exclude this item from then the our uh, like the value of reliability will increase from the 1.129 to 0.138 for example if we are performing this one so we are excluding this one and now look here so now you're looking 138 138 so earlier when we excluded this privatization 5 so now our value is a 0.138 okay and then we are uh, working on another one so our next construct is uh, mlq to mlq6 so again uh, now see in this one negative 0.236 a very uh there is a dramatic and a, a result is there it shows that means that the value is negative due to the negative average covariance among the items so such items are there in the data where there the covariance covariance means the relationship between the two variable uh, variance between the two variable is uh, is a negative one 
So this violates the reliability model assumptions. You want to, you may want to check the item code. So now you have to check the item codes are there. So now this item basically, this result basically violates the liability uh, assumption of liability model. So that's why we have a negative 0.263. So now even though if you look at here, the, the, the sum of the our liability can be increased from negative 0.63 to if we exclude MLQ1. But even though now the uh, they miss that the reliability is negative again because of this reason. Okay, and then another uh, we are going to check. So this time uh, we are checking like the, this our nominal data. So early that was our uh, scale data, but we want to check nominal data. So in the nominal data, somehow it's good. 1.19, at least it's a positive, but again, this is a very less than our uh, uh, like the uh, criterion. The criterion is a, the cron, uh, like the Cronba alpha reliability should not be less than 0.7. So now if we exclude uh, like the LCS01, then our probability will increase. Uh, like the, if you exclude this one, our liability has been increased up to the 249. But if you exclude one LCS2, now our liability will increase 0.238. But if we exclude point, uh, LCS5, then our liability will be negative. So in this way, somehow by excluding some of the item, you can also uh, increase our reliability. Okay, and uh, then uh, we are going to uh, carry out this data and uh, we are applying the same tech things in the smart PDS. Okay, so already in order to save the time, uh, uh, I have developed the, this whole model by following the same data. So now all our variables are here so now now look at this security is a categorical variable there are the two options are there zero and one so this is our scale data so we we can say this is our nominal data this is our scale data nominal data because zero and one nominal data zero and one nominal data so our rest of this one these are our scale data because in this one either there are the five point or six point liquid scales are there so now uh, we are going to apply uh, the uh, algorithm consist uh, okay plist algorithm to check the, uh, the 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 relationship among the all the variables. So now just okay and uh, everything is okay and then calculation okay. So now you are looking here that the calculation uh, the has been stopped. The algorithm calculation of the algorithm has been stopped why? Because regarding score matrix of the complete data set calculating data full set. So running periods of iteration at most 3000, but now the hazard may stop. Because we have given uh, uh, the miss total iteration was 5000. We gave the order, the miss complete the 5000, but now up to now 3000 has been computed and the further computation process has been uh, stopped. Why? What's the reason? Reason is a singular matrix problem. If you click it, you look here. So this explanation of the problem which are facing uh, in our analysis. This says that, that this problem occurs, for example, when calculating the regression coefficient and the correlation which require in, uh, the inverse of the matrix. So now uh, here it requires inverse of matrix. So now this matrix is not inverse. So that's why a single matrix is a square matrix uh, that has no inverse matrix. So now it is not inverse matrix. The reasons are what? The first reason is that the uh, well, uh, variable that is a variance of the zero. Okay, it contains only the same values for each case of observation. So against each case of observation, same values are there, which I already showed you when we are applying. If you remember the frequencies at that time, we frequently we found that there was only one choice. So now the problem is being pointed out here. This occurs, for example, when using the grouping variable in the path model. Okay, another is occurrence of extreme uh, collinearity level. So now some of the, they are highly correlated. So now there's a correlation is a one. So now that's a problem. Normally we have the values of the correlation from uh, 0.3 to 0.8. If any uh, uh, value of the correlation between the two variable is from 0.3 to 0.8, uh, 0.9 even, we should be happy. But here the value of the correlation between the two uh, item is one. It means that both are same. So now there's a problem of the extreme collinearity in your data. So now quality is a big problem for the data. A sample size is too small. So now these are some of the issues are there. That's why you're looking at our uh, computation 
are the means that this has been stopped by the algorithm. So now again, the credit of this uh, issue goes to the that some of the faults, some of the serious issues which are in our data. So at the end, so here we apply the frequency correlation, regression, factor analysis, and reliability, and lastly, smart fields. But everywhere we found all the some of the problems in this data, and those problems uh, now are before you. So now, what is the solution of this problem? The solution of this problem is that uh, we have to use the uh, uh, we can say the but. Uh, then it's a five-point Likert scale, and then it's better. That means that we should have the response against every uh, means, uh, uh, point in the Likert. For example, five-point Likert scale is there. That means some of the items should, be, some of the observations should be for the one, two, three, four, like that, from strongly agree to strongly disagree. On every item, there should be some loadings of the, some respondents should be there. And then in the in this case, security analysis. If it is if it is possible, theoretical. If it is possible, then convert this uh, uh, like the uh, categorical into the scale data. Then again, you have some of the chance. Then you can apply the data, uh, analyze your data very easily in the smart queries. And uh, then uh, the reliability of this data will be also good. And uh, also, again, another suggestion is that, that you should go and uh, collect the more data in order to have the robust. Uh, uh, result. Although the 255 is a is a good sample for applying the any multivariate uh, uh, data analysis technique. But again, so these issues are there. So that's why the reliability is not good. There, uh, factor, you cannot compute a factor analysis. The regression results are faulty. Frequencies are not good. Correlation is not good. So now we have to take care of all these things. Okay, at the end, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this video has clarified your uh, several uh, like the misconceptions or issues with the data. So now, uh, if you like this uh, video, please subscribe my channel. Please like uh, this video, uh, like the video, and if you have comment, you can also leave the comment over there.